Hi, in this video, I'm going to show how can we solve Google Tag Manager Tag Not Found issue in your Shopify store. So, you might be right, uh, add Google Tag Manager code, also add some code to enable data layer for Google Tag Manager in your Shopify store. But when you go to Google Tag Manager and click in here preview, and you see like this kind of issue which is tag not found. And you might be some see some uh, event in here like BYTM add to cart. But when you go to checkout page, and also make a purchase you will not see any event related to this page like purchase begin check out so let's see how can I solve this uh, issue so Shopify was deprecate their checkout page additional script they will deprecate this in August 2025 and the new option is we have to use customer event and I, I create two video regarding this solution I show how can we connect google tag major here you can see how can we uh, connect google tag major with our software website and how can we enable data layer completely gfre schema and necessary i mean after see this video to understand and also i make another video yesterday which is uh, i mean i shoot normally two way how can we enable how do we connect google tag major with our software store and how can we enable e-commerce complete data layer to solve this issue we have to just simply go to google uh, chrome extension uh, chrome web store or like any of this browser web store and actually you have to add this extension in your browser so i i already add this extension in my browser here you can see and you have to go to your google tag manager and then you have to click in here your google tag manager container id copy this code from here the head section code and go to your website and click on the extension which you was um, copy uh, sorry which you was added in your browser and then click in here the settings icon and make sure like in your case if you visit first time you could be seen like that so what we have to do we have to just click in here this sigbar and we have to also click in here and then we have to add in here the code which we was copy just i just add in here this code so in save so if i recap this this again which is we have to add this chrome extension in our browser and then we have to go to google tag major and we have to copy google tag manager head section code and go to our website again and then here you have to click in the extension which we was added in our browser and click in here the settings icon and we have to uh, like uh, check but we have to enable this uh, like this checkbox as well as we have to click in here and here you can see option where you have to able to add some code so which code we was copy from google tag manager we just simply paste in here this code and click in here save and the thing we are do which is in your website so first visit your website and do these things so now if i go to google tag manager for example i just leave this copy my website url and i just go to again my tag manager click in here preview so google tag manager preview mode will connect with my website here you can see we have to add our website url click in here connect so tag manager preview mode connecting and properly connected with our website and this is also here you can see all of this data appear in here like we not see tag not found issue pay now so now i should uh, see in here purchase event just not only purchase event i should also see in here with user data like first name last name and yep if i click in here here you can see purchase event if i click in here data layer here you can see participant all of this data like transition id value tag shipping currency coupon item array and in the area all of this necessary data and we also have in here like user customer first name last name email hash mail phone number city i mean also we also have user data so like you can also send this user data for uh, to set up google's enhanced conversion tracking and you can also send this event to increase facebook event match quality so one one thing which is i should say which is google made some change with enhanced conversion tracking so i'll upload yes to, uh, tomorrow another video 
where I show how can I send in his conversion data with the new way with the new update so our problem is solution so now with this data layer event you can now send this data in meta google analytics 4 google ads tiktok i mean whatever platform where you need and another thing is which is after set up all of this tag and i mean testing everything make sure you go to your website again click on this extension and go to settings and then what you was enable what code you was added make sure you just remove this I mean, disenable this box and you also remove this code from here and then like if you then make sure you also click in here save so after that just normally go to google tag manager and i mean submit your setup to live the setup so what is the summary if i like say which is normally if you're enable show if a data layer in customer pixel and customer event if you had any code to enable google tag manager data layer which is you not seen google tag manager preview mode so you have to add this extension and doing these things what i was uh, share in this video to see this event in here and after you complete your tracking setup so then you can just go to again your website and remove this code that's it so i think this is helpful and if you need any kind of tracking help and you can contact with me by description link and if you want to learn more about service tracking so just see my youtube others video thank you thanks for your time and i think this is helpful if this helps you so then i'm also graceful so thank you